Hello everyone, welcome back to the Microsoft Excel tutorial journey with me on my Knowledge Factor YouTube channel. This is the 35th session. So we have got some formatting going on in here and started to look a little bit more presentable here, right? Not quite there just yet, but uh, we have got the little in there which looks really good. Now let's start getting into the data. The first thing that we are going to focus on here is the numeric data. So I want to do the formatting on these currency amounts right specifically this data right here and uh, this data right here so those are currency amounts we should have the currency symbols right whatever your reason happens to be whether that's dollar the rupee or whatever it happens to be wherever you are located around the world we want some currency symbol in there and we want the proper thousand delimiters as well the, the decimals right whatever it happens to be let's do some formatting so now i'm going to go through a couple of options here i get to choose what looks good what's your preference that's totally up to you and what's going to make your data look the best so what i like to do is first let's focus on the top portion right so i'm going to grab the cell c5 to h10 those are all my currency values within the main spreadsheet right that uh, main monthly budget area so with those highlighted i can then go up to my home tab and underneath the number section here um, this guy right here we have got the currency we have got the currency style and uh, I can click on the little down arrow here so there's actually a couple of different options for me to pick from um, yours might be there I have got English United States I'm actually the one that I'm going to grab here but there is a United Kingdom you got the euro you got the Chinese yen and so on right you got some more accounting formats actually down below there as well so for me I'm going to go ahead and just grab the default which was the English United States so I'll just go and click here that's mine so once that's selected I can now see that it's actually using what's called as accounting style if you see here so if I look down on my data, um, I have now got the do dollar symbol inside there. Let me just expand these. I have got the thousand delimiters with a comma. I have got the dot for the decimal and it's looking pretty good, right? I can now read uh, that as there are dollar amounts. These are currency amount. It looks pretty good. Now there's something that I don't like about this, although it reads now as currency right that looks good but i feel like it's just uh, it's too busy uh, there's too much and it's, it's just too big of a block of data right i want to give it some breathing room so here's what i like to do and again there's total option and it's totally up to you this is a preference so you can decide if you like this or not but what i do is i format the first row this one and i format the last row this one just like that currency and boom so it got the currency symbol it got the proper delimiter inside there thousand comma decimal whatever right and your specific reason but the middle section that is from here let's get right here that uh, I don't need the dollar symbol although it's nice but I don't need it it just looks too busy so what I like to do again total preference is yours here but uh, I'm going to highlight from c6 to h9 so leaving out the first and the last row with that highlighted once again back to my home tab and uh, number section and this time i'm going to use the comma style option this one so if i give that click the little comma there well the currency symbol is gone right I can already extrapolate and determine that oh all of these are currency because first row and the last row is but I have removed it from here it's still kept the decimal and if I had thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands then it would put in the appropriate comma or characters for you there as well so for me it just opens it up a little bit gives it a little bit of breathing room I think it's just that much more presentable right but once again it's totally the option and you get to decide what you want to do the key here is highlight your cells number section and turn your currency styles try it out so 
we'll meet up in the next session thanks for watching this tutorial and as i always say if you really liked it and enjoying the journey then please do like share and subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the latest content update on this channel all right then we'll meet up in the next session in case you have any questions any concerns then do let me know in the comment section of this video till the time goodbye and take care